I always try to do something in English, but nothing works. I cannot uh, remember new English words. I am so embarrassed that I cannot speak to my colleagues in English. Yes, I have studied this language for years, but I am still stuck. So we all have this type of questions and hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about this problem. So please watch the video till the end. If you want to be very fluent in this language, first of all, you need that mindset. Yes, you need that mindset. Because most of the uh, most of the time I have seen people, they become very uncomfortable in this language. So if you are getting uncomfortable, it's very natural. It's common. It happens with everyone. You have to accept it. So you are not the only one who has this problem, who is, I mean, uh, who is facing this type of problem actually we all face problems in this language we are we have to face but we are the only one who have to i mean uh, overcome our obstacles so if you are getting uncomfortable it's very natural and if you hope like uh, you will not uh, get uncomfortable so start change your country start living some other countries where i mean uh, people speak English there. You can surround yourself with the people who speak English. So in that situation, you will be very confident. You will start speaking English very well and you will not have any problem. But we are living here and uh, most of the time we, we come across so many people. They don't speak English. I mean, they speak some other languages. So we are the only one because you are the only one, you have to speak English. So you have to surround yourself, you have to immerse with the things which are going to help you. So if you are getting very uncomfortable, it's very natural. And the second thing, this is very basic, but uh, I can also say like this is, I mean, very important. You have to start, develop the habit of uh, thinking, thinking in English. So like this mental translation is always going there because if you want to speak something you start thinking in your mother tongue and then you translate it to english and then you are able to speak it out so we have to do all these things but i'm just saying that you don't have to do all these things you just have to think in english yes you can uh, you can always give uh, i mean i'm just giving you an example if you give yourself some topic in your mind create any story in your mind and try to speak something on that topic yes first of all if you have already decided that i have to speak something on this topic just give yourself some time there and think a bit i mean you can also think a little bit about this subject so that uh, you can uh, i mean you can speak something and the second thing like uh, we are always afraid to make mistakes we are always afraid of making mistakes in this language and we don't i mean we don't uh, want to uh, be very judged by other people we always uh, try to look very smart in front of others but even you have to accept the fact that even native speakers they all they also make mistakes we all make mistakes yes and uh, if you are stressing so much, I mean, on your mistakes, you don't have to stress so much because if you stress so much, uh, I mean, on your fluency over your mistakes, your confidence level decrease. So first of all, you don't have to, you don't, uh, please don't care so much about your mistakes because if you, if you don't uh, care so much about your uh, mistakes, your fluency level, I mean your confidence level increase okay so it is very important yes of course if we realize that uh, if you have already made some mistakes there okay it's all right accept your mistakes and try to rectify your mistakes and uh, I mean just uh, make make a thought in your mind that I don't have to repeat the same mistake in future and the second thing which is very important in this language that uh, record you can also use this technique like you can also record yourself 
if you are i mean uh, narrating any story like uh, if you are uh, i mean speaking something if you want to speak something just record yourself if you have your phone i mean you can also make a video of yourself and just watch your video but at the same time we have to be very critical because if you analyze anything you also start uh, i mean uh, try to find the things and you also understand the areas where you need to i mean where you need to make some improvement there so if you are critical and uh, because if you want to be i mean if you want to make uh, progress in this language if you want to improve yourself so you need to criticize yourself i am not uh, saying that uh, your confidence level will uh, become very low i am just saying that uh, try to find some areas where you need to focus on yes and you also become very if you listen to your own voice you become very habituated i mean you become very accustomed to your own voice okay so when you are familiar with your own voice i mean you don't have any problem you can express your thought you can you, you will not have any problem in front of others and the second thing there is also a technique like uh, you can use this just give it a try like uh, start reading something out like try to find some i mean blog some post and try to speak it out i mean just read it out if you are speaking something loudly like you listen to your own voice and it it gives you a clarity in your voice okay so you can uh, use all these techniques so in this video that's all for today thanks for watching my video